Hello, sir. Dr. Hindi, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? Oh, fine, sir. Fine. Uh, just another uh, five minutes will start, sir. Uh, Very good. Thanks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, I'll let you know, sir, all the proceedings, sir. Uh, sure, sir. Sure. Thank, thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Munawar, sir. Hello, sir. Can you hear me, Dr. Yuvraj? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect. Welcome. Good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. So another two to three minutes will start, sir, officially. Sure. No. I also joined. Andy Gold, sir, also joined. Andrew is here. Brilliant. Uh, he's here, sir. He's here, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for sparing the time. My pleasure. Yeah. Airway inspection, where the scope is directed. A very good morning to one and all gathered here. It is indeed with great pleasure and pride that we, the Department of Respiratory Medicine, are organizing the inauguration of Interventional Pulmonology Unit in our hospital, which is an unprecedented initiative in the whole of Puducherry. Adding a feather to the cap of our hospital this day marks the beginning of a new venture and proves that the department is growing to attain new heights. We welcome you all for our inaugural ceremony. As you all know, we have two eminent personalities as the guests of honor, Dr. M. Munawa and Dr. Henry G. Colt, who, in spite of their busy schedules, as well as the odd timings in their countries, have found time to grace this occasion. We also would like to extend our happiness to welcome Sri M. Dhanashegran, Chairman and Managing Director, Dr. R, uh, Dr. D. Rajagovindan, Director, Dr. R. N. Kagne, Deputy Director, Dr. Kathigain, Dean Academics, Dr. M. Pragas, Medical Superintendent, Dr. S. Girija, Deputy Medical Superintendent, and Sri Dekshnamurthy, and Register. We welcome you all, sir. No event is complete without seeking the blessings of Almighty. I request you all to kindly rise from your seats for the prayer song.
one to please be seated a thought becomes an accomplishment only if you tirelessly dedicate and persevere for it and if our department of respiratory medicine has touched this new height it is only possible because of the incessant efforts by a most energetic professor and head of the department i request you sir dr yuvrajan to kindly render the welcoming address a very good morning to one and all it's with great uh, excitement and pressure that i stand before you to address this gathering as the saying goes big journey begins with small steps on this auspicious day as you all know we have assembled here for the inaugural ceremony of our ip unit and what's rather more exciting is that we have two great personalities renowned personalities dr m munawar and dr henry cold to share our happiness on a lighter note i thank the technology for making our world smaller and make this come true dr m munawar doesn't need an introduction dr m munawar is the president of british thoracic society and consultant chest physician director of orandry lancashire teaching hospital preston uk we welcome you sir it's a great pleasure and honor for me to welcome uh, emeritus professor dr henry cold uh, who is emeritus professor of division of pulmonary and critical care medicine university of california even he is a founder of bronchoscopy international and the former president of american association of bronchology on my behalf and my department and the hospital fraternity and from the management administrators i am privileged to welcome both of you sir i also extend my hearty welcome to my uh, to our beloved chairman shri m ganeshagaran sir and Uh, my teacher and director of this institute dr rajagovindan sir and deputy director dr karan kagne sir and dean academic dr kartikeyan sir and uh, medical superintendent dr prakash sir and deputy medical superintendent dr girijay madam and uh, and register uh, mr dakshina murthy for making your presence on this auspicious day i am very glad to welcome other dignitaries also senior professors hods of departments faculties nursing superintendent and other staffs and sister college principals who are next year to wish us hoping this small step will lead to a greater leap in future and i conclude my words uh, with a simple sentence thank you thank you one and all for our uh, for uh, gathering here to grace this occasion thank you thank you very much sir light is a symbol of brightness and prosperity as sunlight expels the darkness of might similarly blessings bring in our life prosperity and happiness for this aim i invite all the dignitaries to light the lamp thank you everyone
before proceeding to inauguration i am profusely overjoyed to take the opportunity to introduce our guest of honor dr m munawar dr m munawar is a consultant chest physician interventional pulmonologist at lancashire teaching hospital preston uk for 21 years he is a president of the european association of bronchology and interventional pulmonology he is he is the president of british thoracic society and regional advisor rcp edinburgh for 7 years he has been the founder organizer of the preston basic bronchoscopy course for over 15 years he chaired the bts basic bronchoscopy guidelines development committee he is a specialist advisor to nice interventional procedure committee he has been an active faculty member at the ers and eabip interventional bronchoscopy courses at different parts of the world actively involved in the evaluation of innovative techniques tools in the thoracoscopy and bronchoscopy and has special interest in research and management of lung cancer pleural pathologies emphysema tb and most recently covid we welcome you sir thank you very much uh, indeed i hope you can hear me clearly yes sir yes sir oh thank you thank you dr yuvraj and uh, everybody in the organizing committee of this uh, wonderful function in the beautiful auditorium in this spectacular city of puducherry uh, it is my pleasure and privilege and indeed an honor to be invited to speak here and to inaugurate the interventional pulmonology unit um and it is a it's a doubly uh, uh, honorable for me to see that uh, a pioneer in the field of interventional pulmonology dr henri cole is also in the podium virtually uh, we would very much prefer uh, to be there face to face to meet all of you but uh, we are where we are uh, henri i'm going to take a, a couple of minutes uh, uh, of your permission to speak in tamil which is the local language if it's okay Uh, I'll tell the audience in advance that uh, although I was born and brought up in uh, Chennai, I uh, and studied in Madras Medical College. Where, uh, in looking at the auditorium today, I get uh, wonderful memories of uh, similar events. Uh, I, I my Tamil is not brilliant, so please excuse me. Onakam, hello, Rukum, and mikka magilchiya agar kirede in the in the in the bedaa vekalendu kallak ennai ninga invite pantra thikke. ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமா இருக்கு எனக்கு நான் காலேஜ் டேஸ்ல இருக்கும் போது ஒரு ஃபங்க்ஷன்ல ஒருத்தர் இன்வைட் பண்ணி ஒரு சீஃப் கெஸ்ட் ஆக்கி இன்வைட் பண்ணாங்கன்னா அதுக்கு என்ன அர்த்தம்னா அவருக்கு வந்து வயசு ஆச்சு அர்த்தம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க அதே மாதிரி டாக்டர் யுவராஜ் வந்து எனக்கு வயசு ஆச்சு என்னன்னு நினைச்சு கூப்பிட்டுருக்காரு ஆண்ட்ரே வாஸ் ஜஸ்ட் சேங் தட் இன் மை மெடிக்கல் காலேஜ் டேஸ் இஃப் நம்படி வாஸ் இன்வைட் டு இனாகிரேட் அ ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஆர் யூனிட் it usually meant that they have uh, become old uh, uh, <laughs> past the sell by date uh, uh, and uh, that's what dr yuvraj probably uh, thinks was so meant on a on a lighter note um but andre is very young uh, unlike me uh, uh, thank you very much again for inviting me i just like to say a few words and i said with uh, dr yuvraj's permission uh, that i'll do a little presentation because and uh, i'll see whether i can project the presentation while we are uh while we are talking uh please bear with me uh let me see i probably have to uh close and open this uh, presentation once more um uh andre i don't know whether you know that uh this um puducherry used to be a french colony i know that you actually uh speak french yourself uh and uh, i think some of the residents still uh speak french there uh so the audience can you see my uh, presentation yes sir yes sir what do you think oh brilliant thank you so much again thank you for your patience um so sri manakula vinayagar medical college and hospital uh in puducherry uh opens the interventional pulmonology unit it's a landmark event today uh but some in the audience and uh, some of the viewers might wonder what interventional pulmonology is so i thought i'll take a few minutes of your time to describe uh, uh, very briefly what about interventional pulmonology and my own experience in interventional pulmonology um i currently live in preston 
which is close to Manchester, about 220 miles north of London. And uh, that's where I've been for nearly 30 years now. And uh, uh, Henri, this is the uh, medical college that we are in this morning. Beautiful uh, uh, campus, as I can see on the website. Um, so, and uh, this is the program for today, and uh, it is indeed an honor. And also to see that my good friend uh, Patabi is going to be giving the lecture uh, from Quebeto today on cryotherapy and endobronchial lasers. Uh, so, what is interventional pulmonology? The number of descriptions of this term. In fact, it's a it's a it's a relatively young field. Uh, about only about twenty years uh, of age, if you look at it uh, properly structured interventional pulmonology with regard to training and practice. It's a mature medical subspecialty, I would say now, of respiratory medicine. Essentially, uh, minimally invasive endoscopic and percutaneous procedures for diagnosis and treatment of neoplastic, as well as non-neoplastic diseases of the airways, lungs, and pleura as well. And uh, essentially, many interventional pulmonology procedures constitute methods of uh, less invasive uh, approaches to thoracic surgery. So may Many, many places uh, when I've gone and spoken, they, they have thought that I'm a thoracic surgeon because of the work that we do, particularly in the pleura. And uh, if you go back in history for the medical students and uh, trainees in the audience, the very first proper uh, bronchoscopy, rigid bronchoscopy was performed in Germany by Gustav Killian in 1897. And he uh, wrote, uh, he was a rhinolaryngologist and he wrote saying, I think I have made an important discovery because bronchoscopy was born with his introduction of the scope into the airways. And he um, taught people around the world in, in a year, there were about 240 people from all over the world traveled to learn from him. And he said, one has to be witness when a patient who feels doomed to death can be saved by a simple procedure of introducing a tube with the help of a little cocaine when he removed a foreign body from the right main bronchus. Several years later, a thoracic surgeon who had suffered by uh, tuberculous pleurisy as a medical student, Shigito Ikeda, uh, asked himself, is there any good method to observe the deeper part of the bronchus that does not torture the patient? And he set about saying that nothing but the development of his scope must be his duty. For the next 20 to 30 years, Shikito Ikeda worked tirelessly in 1966, early, very early on, he uh, invented the, uh, put together the flexible bronchoscope with the help of Makeda company. And then for another 20 years, he worked and then introduced the video bronchoscope. That led further on into the field of interventional uh, pulmonology. And this consists of several sections as I'll describe in the next two to three minutes, very quickly. This is a huge lecture and it's a conference on its own right. So I'll just give you the headlines today. So if I go back about um, uh, uh, 20 to 30 years, the only major procedure that was performed in interventional uh, pulmonology would say besides rigid bronchoscopy, of course, was uh, transbronchial needle aspiration. Classical case, which you would encounter uh, in uh, our country in India as well, where a patient who presents with PUO, pyrexia of a non-origin for several weeks, and the only finding, this is a real life case in Preston where I work, uh, the only finding was a subcranial lymph node. This was 1999. And the only way to make a diagnosis was to perform this procedure, which is called conventional or blind transbronchial needle aspiration and get acid fast bacilli and secure the diagnosis of tuberculosis and commence treatment straight away. So completely transformed the way we diagnose these conditions are isolated mediastinal adenopathy. If you fast forward about five years, in 2004, uh, the first EBUS scope, endobronchial ultrasound scope was introduced and a, and a charity, a cancer charity uh, that I approached uh, wrote me a check of 100,000 pounds and we placed the first order of uh, endobronchial ultrasound scope and stack in the UK in 2004. So very quickly after I started practice of EBUS, endobronchial ultrasound, I came to Chennai in 2006. And when I gave a talk on endobronchial ultrasound, at the end of the talk, 
uh, many people approach me during the coffee and lunch break and said, sir, this looks very exciting. However, it's far too expensive for our country. Uh, if you see within a couple of years, Patabi was the first person along with his team in Coimbatore to, to acquire the EBA scope in 2008 and he started conducting the TIP uh, successful conferences. Now, a few years later, you've got well over 200 to 300 centers in the country practicing EBAS. So technology has been embraced very quickly in India, and that's what's happening in Puducherry in your institution as well, as I can see. I heard the video presentation in advance of the event as well. What can EBAS do? How it can transform lives? Take the example of this particular patient who was transferred from another hospital about 15 miles away. He was admitted to the intensive care unit there with progressive weakness of unknown etiology. They could not understand why he developed respiratory failure. Extensive investigations were all negative except for the CT scan showing one small lymph node in the left hyla region engulfed by blood vessels. And the patient was intubated in the intensive care unit and critical care, transferred from there in the morning. In the intensive care unit, we wheeled the EBA scope. And then as you can see, EBUS tBNA is being performed very precisely from the left hyla node. And within a matter of uh, two to three hours, we got the diagnosis of small cell carcinoma with Eaton-Lambert syndrome. The patient was commenced on chemotherapy. And in two weeks, the patient was able to leave the hospital having recovered from Eaton-Lambert syndrome. So completely transformed. And there are treatments that we can continue to give these sort of patients. What else can you do interventionally in interventional pulmonology? There's a patient who was transferred from another hospital with persistent hemoptysis, very simple procedure with flexible bronchoscope in the trachea, you use argon plasma coagulation to coagulate the areas which were bleeding. And with a matter of few seconds to minutes, you can control the bleeding, which was continuously uh, troubling this particular patient. What else can you do? You can do, and uh, Patabi is gonna talk about cryotherapy. Uh, you can use cryo very effectively to remove foreign bodies. And this is through the flexible bronchoscope, but usually it's performed foreign body removal is through the rigid bronchoscope, but there is a room. And here, the, the cryo probe has been, has been introduced uh, to remove this particular foreign body, which turned out to be a toy that uh, the patient had inhaled many, many years ago. And then with regard to treatment or palliation, interventional pulmonology can make, again, a massive difference. This particular patient was transferred from another hospital with malignancy, advanced malignancy, as you can see, leading to the trachea becoming like a slit and choking the patient. The patient simply could not breathe. He was being strangled. And with a simple procedure of placing a stent, which is a uh, flexible bronchoscope uh, guided metallic stent, the trachea could be opened up this patient was not able to get out of bed for two weeks prior to this procedure. Within a few minutes of performing the procedure and waking him up, he was able to walk around, at least he was independent and self-caring for the few weeks to months that he was able to live beyond uh, that procedure. So at least he was not strangled and asphyxiated to death. Coming to plural procedures, the most essential procedure that you want to learn as a trainee is, in, uh, is plural ultrasound. When you do pleural ultrasound, you can delineate the pleural cavity for both pleural effusion, as you can see here, the diaphragm is being described, uh, be, being pointed out to, and then perform the simple procedure of flexi-rigid or semi-rigid thoracoscopy to get the diagnosis and to manage the patient. You can take effective biopsies uh, by the same procedure and the same sitting. You can spray talc in the same sitting. And finally, where it's uh, appropriate, you can also place a, an indwelling pleural catheter with or without thoracoscopy. So a number of procedures which you can give, which you can get an accurate diagnosis, stage the malignancy when it's confirmed, and also palliate the patient so that the pleural catheter can then be, uh, it, it can then be drained at home. So that's a very quick, um, very brief overview of what interventional pulmonology is. If you divide it into sections, Interventional pulmonology includes advanced diagnostic bronchoscopy, and this field is progressively expanding. Uh, autofluorescence bronchoscopy, I've mentioned EBUS, there's radial EBUS, 
There's a virtual bronchoscopic navigation, the transparent camel node access, there is robotic bronchoscopy, which is coming up uh, in due course. Then there is therapeutic bronchoscopy and malignancy, some of which, which Patabi is going to cover, everything from electrocautery to cryo, to stent placement, to radio frequency ablation, laser, and so on. Then there is also therapeutic bronchoscopy in the benign field. This has come up in the last 10 to 15 years with the use of uh, bronchoscopic thermoplasty, bronchial thermoplasty in asthma, uh, a use of endobronchial valves and vapor therapy in emphysema, targeted lung denervation, cryotherapy, cryospray, and rheoplasty in COPD. And of course, plural interventions, which I very briefly mentioned. So as you can see, it's a massive field now, progressively expanding, very exciting, and at the right time for your institution to embrace this uh, particular technology and expand your armamentarium. I can see that already you have done that very uh, impressively and admirably, uh, and uh, Dr. Yuvaraj and, and team have uh, started to evaluate and publish uh, literature on the field, for instance, in indwelling pleural catheters, thoracoscopic pleural brushing, and this is in a premier journal in the European Respiratory Journal. I must congratulate the team on the, on the great work and, uh, and wish them all the way best. A few points of advice with regard to interventional pulmonology. If you perform this procedure, a few things to remember. First of all, you uh, need to remember that you choose the patient carefully and perform the procedure only where it is absolutely necessary, where you think there is a great likelihood that the benefits would outweigh risks, uh, remembering the fact that you do not want to cause any harm. Secondly, it's all about choosing the patient, the right patient for the right procedure. Thirdly, if you're doing interventional pulmonology, you need to be prepared. You need to be really well prepared, have a SOP, a standard operating procedure to manage any potential complications. Although uncommon, and you want to prevent complications, but when they occur, you need to be there, ready and prepared to manage them. And finally, interventional pulmonology is not a one-man show. It is a team effort. So if you learn something, you need to learn as a team. You may be the person performing the procedure, but there are nurses and the radiologists and the anesthetists and even thoracic surgeon, you need to befriend and keep them in your team. When I started interventional pulmonology in, uh, practice in the UK, there was hardly any IP practice. People were worried and they did ask me, why are you taking this particular field? It's quite a risky field. And I always remember what Robert Frost wrote in this poem, The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler long I stood and looked down one as far as I could. I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. And we are here to make a difference to our patients and that's what we hope to do. At this point, I'd like to thank you again for your kind attention and hand the mic back I can't remember, Dr. Yuvaraj, whether I'm supposed to click that link at this stage or wait for your signal. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, thanks for your uh, wonderful, enabling lecture uh, and the brief uh, overview of interventional pulmonology. Uh, sir, just we uh, would like to hear some uh, uh, some uh, words from uh, Henry Court. Uh, after that, we can go ahead with uh, this uh, inauguration, sir. Perfect. Thank you. Over to Henri then. Professor Henry Cole, sir. Yes, thank you very much. It's wonderful to be here. Yeah, just and, uh, after that wonderful overview by my friend Dr. Munovar, uh, I have very little to add except to welcome you and to congratulate you for joining the community of interventional pulmonology. And I know that now in the audience, we are not only seeing new leaders in India and in the younger generation, the future leaders in interventional pulmonology in this country. And I welcome you and encourage you to contribute and participate actively in this very exciting field. It is thanks to what you are doing that you will be saving hundreds, perhaps thousands of lives in the Pondicherry region, as well as in India. 
And for that, you will be always blessed. Thank you for allowing me to be here on this very important day for us all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, may I now request both Dr. Munawa and Dr. Henry G. Call to kindly visit the webpage and officially inaugurate the online platform. So I have uh, on the webpage now, and it says grand opening. Is that what I click at the moment? And share your screen, sir. Oh, okay. Yes. I'll do that. Sorry. Uh, one second. Let me see if I can share the screen now. Okay. There you go, you should be able to see it now. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, can you click on the grand opening, sir? Can you click yes, sir. on your screen? Fantastic. What technology can do these days. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Yes, please scroll down, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Please, sir. Yes, sir. So, thank you, sir. Honestly, many, many, many congratulations to all of you. Uh, and everybody involved, uh, it's uh, truly very exciting to see. This is what we always want to see. I'm sure Andre will agree. Uh, uh, such uh, enthusiastic, young, dynamic teams uh, propagating interventional perm the practice and uh, the, the techniques of interventional pulmonology. Uh, wish you all the very best. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, sir, please stay with us, sir. Like uh, our uh, chairman is going to install the new uh, equipments for our armament volume, sir. So you can just see that in live. Definitely. Yeah, please. Yeah. Thank you. I now request our chairman, Sir Dhanushegrin, to officially inaugurate the intervention pulmonology unit by raising the curtain. Sir, kindly stop the screen sharing, sir. For now, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir, for doing the honors. May I now request our director, Dr. D. Rajagovindan, to speak a few words on this auspicious occasion. Respected chairman and managing director, Honor, Dr. Munawar from UK and Dr. Henry D. Colt from United States of America, guest speaker Dr. V. R. Patabiraman, our Dean Academic Dr. K. Karthikeyan, Medical Superintendent Dr. Prakash, Deputy Medical Superintendent Dr. Jayashri and Girija, Dr. Mr. Dakshina Murthy, Dr. S. Yuvarajan, Professor and Head, the Faculty and Proposed Graduates of Department of Respiratory Medicine, Sri Manakula Vinayar Medical College and Hospital. Good morning to one and all. It gives me immense pleasure 
to stand before you on the occasion of inaugural ceremony of interventional pulmonology unit i would like to express my sincere gratitude for your presence in this opening ceremony which is the gateway to the initiation of our intervention process i can proudly say that the department of respiratory medicine sri manakula vinayagar medical college and hospital is one of the best in this region and has rendered yeoman service to the community no wonder they are able to organize this interventional unit in befitting manner being a doctor also means being a student for life we need to regularly update our knowledge and skills to provide better service to the society this is possible only by implementing such advanced instruments and enhancing our skills in our departments and training our students in a better way also in the present scenario this interventional pulmonology unit is first of its kind in our union territory and 40th one in the whole of our country and I think it is the first in a private medical college i take privilege of thinking the thanking the guest of honor dr a munawar president british thoracic society director and research and development lancashire technology hospital preston uk we are highly honored that he is amongst us today we are indeed grateful to dr henry g colt professor emeritus pulmonary and critical care medicine university of california erwin founder of bronchoscopy international who was also the former president of american association of bronchology former chairman of world association of bronchology and international pulmonology for graciously and readily accepting our invitation to be the guest of honor in spite of the very early hours of the day in erwin both of your presence is a moral boost for us sir i thank you both for making your presence despite your busy schedule both of your personal academic achievements are a source of motivation for us sir i am also happy to know that great guest speaker dr v r pattabiraman senior consultant interventional pulmonologist and sleep medicine expert from coimbatore has gracefully accepted to deliver the guest lecture on the topic cryotherapy and endobronchial lasers in interventional pulmonology we are happy to have you today amongst your busy schedule sir the roots of all goodness lie in the soil of appreciation of goodness as per dalai lama i would take this liberty to wish and appreciate dr s yuvarajan professor and head department of respiratory medicine for all his extra effort in setting standards to his department year after year i must agree you blow me every day with your dedication and work you and your work always stood by the expectation and as a meaningful contribution to success of our institution we value your presence and we are proud of you sir teamwork makes dream work i congratulate the teammates dr pravin radhakrishnan dr antony smriras post graduates of respiratory medicine and all the members here and wish you all a grand success thank you thank you so much sir for your enlightening words i now request our chairman shri danashekaran to address the gathering namade கல்லூரியில் இன்று மிக சிறப்பாக ஆரம்பித்து இனிதை நடைபெற்ற இன்டர்மென்ஷன் பல்மலானஜி பிணைட்டு விழாவிற்கு வருகை தந்து சிறப்பித்துக் கொண்டிருக்கிறார் டாக்டர் எம் முன்னவர் அவர்களே டாக்டர் ஹென்ரி ஜி கோல்ட் அவர்களே மற்றும் நம்முடைய டைரக்டர் டெப்டி டைரக்டர் டீன் மெடிக்கல் சூப்பரண்டன்ட் ரிஜிஸ்டர் மற்றும் அனைத்து துறையை சேர்ந்த பேராசிரியர்கள் மாணவ மாணவிகள் அனைவருக்கும் உடைய கலை வணக்கத்தை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றேன் ஆக்சுவலா பாத்தீங்கன்னா வந்து நிறைய அந்த டெக்னாலஜி ஈவெண்ட்ல வந்து இது பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கோம் இந்த இதுல எனக்கு பயங்கர சர்பிரைஸ் ஆகிடுச்சு இது கேட்க சொல்லல ஒரு பக்கம் வந்து நைட்டு யூகே 
இவங்க இருக்காங்க வந்து முன்னவர்ஸ் இருக்காங்க இன்னொரு பக்கம் யூஎஸ்ஏ அவங்களுடைய டைம் அதுக்கப்புறம் நம்மளுடைய இந்தியன் டைம் இத மூணையும் கனெக்ட் பண்றது வந்து பெரிய ஒரு ஜாப் அந்த ஜாப் கனெக்ட் பண்ணி அதுவும் அவங்களுடைய இத வந்து டைம்ல வந்து அவங்களை வர சொல்றது அதுவும் இந்த நேரத்துல இருக்கிறது வந்து ஒரு பெரிய ஜாப் அதோட இங்க வந்து எலக்ட்ரிக்கா எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் இது அந்த பக்கம் வந்து டெக்னாலஜி எல்லாம் வந்து கனெக்டிவிட்டி அதுவும் அந்த கனெக்டிவிட்டில வந்து ஒரு பிரச்சனையும் இல்லாம இருக்குன்றது வந்து வந்து உண்மையிலே வந்து ஈவன் ஐடி இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜில் கூட வந்து சாத்தியம் இல்லாத ஒண்ணு அதான் அவங்களோட வாய்ஸ் கிளியர்ன்றது வந்து வாய்ஸ் கிளியர் இமேஜ் கிளியர் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் எல்லாம் வந்து ஹேர்ஷப் தேர்ட் வந்து நம்ம எப்பவே ரிப்பன் வச்சு கட்டுற சிசர் வச்சு கட்டிட்டு இருக்குல்ல அதுக்கு ஒரு பட்டன் வச்சுட்டு அதையும் கண்டுபிடிச்சிட்டு வந்து அதுல வந்து இருந்தாலும் <laughs> <laughs> புதியிலே அது ஒரு யூனிட்டா வந்து உட்காந்துட்டு இருக்காங்க இது நாங்க திறந்து வச்சிட்டு இருக்கோம் கண்டிப்பா இந்த இதுல வந்து நம்ம யூனியன் டெரிட்டரியில நம்ம பாண்டிச்சேரி இன்னொன்னு டவுன்ல இருக்கவங்க ஈவன் வெளியூர்ல அவருக்கு பாத்தீங்கன்னா எல்லா தமிழ்நாட்டுல ஃபுல்லா நிறைய பேர் கிளைன்ஸ் இருக்காங்க அவங்க எல்லாருமே இங்க வந்து இந்த ஃபெசிலிட்டிஸ் யூஸ் பண்ணி எடுத்துன்னு போறதுக்கான இதா இருக்கு அந்த இது வந்து நம்மளுடைய கல்லூரியில இருக்கிறது வந்து நமக்கு எல்லாம் பெருமையான ஒரு விஷயம் So, heads up the doctor, you rush to bring this machine for the last two years and then you push and push and then you 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 push. பெஸ்ட் ஆஃப் குட் நரேஷன் பண்ணிட்டு ரொம்ப சக்சஸ்ஃபுல்லா இருக்கு சோ இதே ஸ்பிரிட் ஓட ஒர்க் பண்ணா கண்டிப்பா நம்மளுடைய கல்லூரிய வந்து மெடிக்கல் காலேஜ் வந்து வேர்ல்ட் மேப்ல வந்து இணையறதுக்கு அல்லோ அப்கோர்ஸ் ஆல்ரெடி அவர் நிறைய வந்து இன்டர்நேஷனல் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் போதெல்லாம் நம்ம பேர் வந்து தெரிஞ்சிருக்கு ஈவன் பிரான்ஸ் இருக்கட்டும் இல்ல யூஎஸ் இருக்கட்டும் யூகே இருக்கட்டும் நம்மளுடைய கல்லூரி சார்பாகவும் அவர் சார்பாகவும் ஒரு கஸ்ட் லெக்சரா போறதுக்கு வந்து நம்மளுடைய கல்லூரிய நேம் வந்து வெளியில தெரிஞ்சதான் இருக்கு அப்கோர்ஸ் பொதுமக்களுக்கும் சரி இதை தேவைப்படுறவங்களுக்கும் வந்து நம்மளுடைய கல்லூரிய தெரியறதுக்கும் அந்த சர்வீசஸ் யூஸ் பண்றதுக்கும் ரொம்ப இதா இருக்கு தட் இவங்க நம்ம டீம் வந்து ரொம்ப பர்ஃபெக்டா பண்றதால நிறைய வந்து ஈஸியா வந்து டிடெக்ட் பண்றது இந்த லங் கேன்சர் மற்ற மாதிரி இதெல்லாம் வந்து ஈஸியா டிடெக்ட் பண்ணிட்டு அதே எக்ஸ்பெஷலி வந்து அதுக்கு ரொம்ப சொல்லிட்டு இருந்தாங்க அவங்க முனவர் சார் சொல்லிட்டுக்குள்ள சொல்லிட்டு இருந்தாங்க அந்த ப்ரொசீஜர் வந்து ஒரு இதை கண்டுபிடிக்கிறதுக்கு வந்து எவ்வளவு டெஸ்ட் எல்லாம் சொல்லி நெகட்டிவ் ஆயிட்டு அந்த ஒரு இதை வந்து பிரான்ஸ்கோப் வச்சு ஈஸியா கண்டுபிடிச்சாங்கன்னு சொன்னாங்க இல்லையா அந்த மாதிரி இங்க நம்மளுடைய ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் நானே என்னோட தெரிஞ்சவங்க ரிலேட்டிவ்ஸ் எல்லாம் பார்த்துருக்கேன் ஈவன் மை மதனுக்கே கூட வந்து பார்த்துட்டு இருக்கேன் எந்த இன்டர்நேஷன் எந்த பிரச்சனையும் இல்லாம அந்த எதுலாம் இருக்காமல் அந்த பிரான்ஸ்கோப்பிய வச்சுட்டே வந்து அந்த மிஷினை வச்சுட்டே ரொம்ப பெரிய வேலை செஞ்சுட்டு இருக்காங்க இன்னும் இதை வச்சுட்டு என்னென்னலாம் கம்மிக்கு போறாங்க அப்படின்றது தெரியல கண்டிப்பா இது நம்மளுடைய கல்லூரிக்கு பெருமை நம்ம சுத்தி இருக்க பொதுமக்களுக்கும் இது உபயோகமா இருக்கும் அப்படின்றது அவங்களுடைய ஒர்க் வந்து திரும்ப நல்லா கண்டினியூ ஆகணும் அப்படின்றத வீழ்த்தி மீண்டும் ஒரு முறை அந்த மீட்டிங்ல கலந்துட்டு இருக்கிறவருக்கும் உணவர் சாருக்கும் அவருக்கும் வந்து எங்களுடைய நன்றியும் வாழ்த்துக்கும் தெரிவித்துக் கொண்டு வாய்ப்புக்கு நன்றி கூடிய விரும்புகிறேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் தேங்க்யூ சார் ஃபார் யோர் கைண்ட் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஐ நவ் ரிக்வஸ்ட் டாக்டர் பிரவீன் சார் அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபசர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ரெஸ்பிரேட்டரி மெடிசன் to deliver vote of thanks a very good afternoon to one and all i would like i'm very much privileged to deliver the vote of thanks for this occasion i would first thank the almighty for giving this event a grand success on the behalf of the entire hospital fraternity i would like to extend my thanks to the guest of honors dr m munawar and dr n g g kol sir who in spite of their busy schedule and also in appropriate timings were humble enough to join us and make this day a memorable one in our college history thank you very much sir to both of you i like to extend my thanks to dr i like to thank our chairman shyam danashekaran sir who has been a sorry I would like to extend my thanks to our chairman, Shri M. Dhanashikaran sir, who has readily accepted our proposal to get this intervention pharmacology unit in spite of this COVID crisis. Very much thank you, sir, for your presence. I would like to thank our director, Dr. Rajagovinan, sir, who has been a source of inspiration for our department. Thank you very much, sir. 
I'd like to thank our Deputy Director, Dr. R. N. Kagne, sir, our Dean Academics, Dr. Karthikeyan, sir, our Medical Superintendent, Dr. M. Prakash, sir, our Deputy Medical Superintendent, Dr. Girja, madam, and our Registrar, Dakshana Murthy, sir, for all your presence. Thank you very much. I would like to thank Yuvarajan, sir, who has been very instrumental in getting all these instruments to our college. I would thank you very much, sir, for your presence. I would like to extend my thanks to Dr. Arun Kumar, sir, CTS cardiothoracic surgeon and Dr. Balasubramaniam, sir, anesthesiologist, who have readily accepted to be part of the intervention pulmonary unit. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to thank my entire department, especially the postgraduates, who have been working tirelessly for the past one week to make this event a grand success. Thank you very much, guys. And I would like to thank all the persons who have assembled here to join us, especially uh, senior faculties, my colleagues, my beloved postgraduates, and uh, principal from nursing college, their faculties, and their students. Thank you very much for all your presence. And especially, I would like to thank the people behind the screen who have been working hard, especially the EDP department, maintenance department, especially electrical department, workshop department for this wonderful uh, organization. Thank you very much for all. Last but not the least, I would like to thank once again the Almighty for making this event a grand success. Thank you all. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to add a note. Dr. Kruter from Germany has sent his warm wishes to for the inauguration of our palmo, in the interventional pulmonology unit. Dear colleagues, my name is Professor Martin Kruter. I am the head of the Center for Interstitial and rare lung diseases at the Torah Clinic of the University Hospital in Heidelberg in Germany. My warmest congratulations to Dr. Ivara Young and the whole team of the Respiratory Medicine Department of Sri Malakula Vinaya Medical College and Hospital for installing the first interventional pulmonology department in your county. I wish you all the best and look forward for further cooperations with you. Dear colleagues, my name is Professor Martin. I now request everyone to kindly raise for the national anthem. Sir, sir, thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, uh, Professor Munawa, sir, and uh, Professor Henry Cole, sir, for joining us. And uh, you know, in spite of odd time, like I know that it's early morning in uh, UK and uh, late night in US. Um, so it's very uh, happy and it's very pleasure uh, that you joined with us. And great vacation, uh, uh, great vacation. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Entirely a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you sir. All the best Thank to you. you. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We'll call you later. We'll call you later. Message you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you. Thank you.